I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Sheriff Matthews is dead. We can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Hello, caller. I need the sheriff right away. Go to the edge of town for a jazz run. I know some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Caller on line one. Uh oh. All right. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The, the Scream. Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. That's. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty. If this is an ad, Ponty's I swear. Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. Me as well, me as I well. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Oh, that's very nice, very Ponte's nice. Thank you. Pizza. Thank you very just much. Just a little something to look forward to when all this blows Love pizza. over. Wow, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Thank you. That's really good of you, but you really don't have to though. Oh, it's the least I can. Love pizza. And if you like it, well, you're oh, in luck. Man, it's an ad. It's an ad. It's an ad. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, <laughs> the pizza we have is, is there... the diet. Peggy, or... help. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Poor choice. Oh, oh bad. Uh, that, was, that was pretty tasteless. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. Yeah. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down it's to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. It's an ad. Our famous it's an ad. pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. <laughs> You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your took you for... Took you long hey, enough. Earth the Nash. Here. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Got now, it. Now, a word from our sponsors. A word from our... You know how our... to play an ad, right? Uh, of course I do. No. Nope. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Got it. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. I would assume so. Um... Nope, that's not what I want. Get in, in, in. The cassette player is on the desk in front of you. I know where Just it is. Just above the sound blaster. No, I... There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. What? In. In. Oh, I'm dumb. Uh... <laughs> Done. Got it, yo. Yeah. Do you seek ancient wisdom?
Do you want to double your power? Of Are course I do. Unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99. $24.99? Step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. That and receive direct cool. by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. Yeah. The power of the alligator. <laughs> the discipline of the tarantula. <laughs> the speed of the tuna. <laughs> the poise of the scorpion. <laughs> and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using yeah. the techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Oh, it's so sure. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only twenty-four ninety-nine. Just yeah. call five 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 seven eight six one USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Yeah, that was, that was fun. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. Oh my god! The tornado technique and karate love me. Wow! Today. Wow! Oh my! Oh my! Yes, please. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. Oh, of course I, mean, I am. I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them. I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. <laughs> uh, I, uh... uh <laughs> wait, yeah! Is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? <laughs> yeah, yes, Let's just I get am. to the show. Oh, this... Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. $24.99 for the not sequence just saying of that karate. Because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Oh, caller. Oh, well, are we sure we should have been playing an ad instead of, you know, taking 911 calls? Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell. I'm not Leslie. The Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Oh, no. Wait. Forrest Nash? Took I want to speak enough. to 911. Put Leslie on. Uh, what? I am nine God, one. another one? Wait, is, is this surprising you? Um, I am. I am nine. I am nine one one. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son! I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. About Sheriff that. Matthews is dead. Mm. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? No. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Not well. We're we're live on air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on. Damn it! All right. Watch your mouth. There's children there's listening. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. Uh, not really. That's school, nothing no. to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Oh no. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Tell me about it. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye Ooh. when <laughs> Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Right. But yeah. I was there. I covered it. Yeah, I, I, and now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. <laughs> Yeah, this happens. Love it. Good pun. Good they pun. think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. Nope. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. 30 years? Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. You know what? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. Uh, hmm. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. Got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Um, can you take him? I think you might be up for fighting the whistling man. Son, I am 55 years old. If this freak killed Sheriff Matthews, <laughs> I don't like my chances. Okay, Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. Ooh. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That um, crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. 
That's right. No fire exits? And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... What? Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They oh, have a really? bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy Marie's time. And buy Marie's time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. We're Sorry, working Maurice. on it. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? Yeah. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. <laughs> Don't go thank, anywhere. Thank goodness. Thank... Thank... Yeah. Alright. Uh... You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? No, I think Mr. he's Russell. something. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Got it. Um, where's the fax? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Later, Gator. Who's ya? Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Got it. This must be it. Wrote it on a napkin. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. All right, there we go. Hey, did you get the fax? Got it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? I got it. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Oh, shut up, okay, will folks, you? Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now... He's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by uh... dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Hold on, where's the guy again? Um. Editor's? Editor's office? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Uh. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Uh. The. Uh. Hmm. Kitchen? You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. Yeah, I know I'm what I'm doing. ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Got yes, it. sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Bam. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Mm -hmm. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Got it, got it, got it. 
Do you think he'll make it okay? Well, I hope I'm sure so. he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? All right. Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Yeah. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Well, that's good. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Uh, yeah, let's lock him in a room. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations. The fire regulations would make it so you had more than one exit. Inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Yeah? The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Oh. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have no, you got back there? Right here. Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, focus. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, oh, boo hoo. We're in the big time now. Yeah. We've got it all figured out. We've got the it all. Secret archive. Right, right. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. Oh, wow. He can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Bingo. Oh my God. Got it. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. Eh, don't count So should it. I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Mm. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Well, we are the radio. Um, yeah, use the radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret office. Put one there. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but what is it? Our sports reporter Hopkins. Yeah. He has a little portable radio. He never turns off when he's here. In the cubicles, I guess. Uh, is this still in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak okay. over while our friend is still distracted with his search. Got it. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Mm hmm. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Don't Heck, get ahead if of yourself. If this works, we might even save the whole town. Yeah, that's. Don't get excited yet. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Yep, Nash, got it. hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it was. Very it's good, very good. It's all coming together. Peggy, calm down. I'm just down. gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Wait, Maurice, turn, Maurice, the, volume turn down. the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Yeah, right. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. No, let's do it for ourselves. Um. Wait. Ah, oh, goddammit. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. We are the radio! We just be quiet for a little bit. But wait, we're the radio. There you go, Peggy. We can just be quiet until you're ready. There you go, Peggy. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. Ooh, but a good man. editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Yep. 189, 189.16, The Scream. 189.16. Good. Scream. I've got the radio on silent, but 
and I tuned it. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Hey, Where should we send the killer? Um, boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uh, let's do I'm it. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Mm. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Not out of the woods yet. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I don't know. Um, I'll impersonate him. Yeah. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? Well, we'll just. Oh, I think I gave that mask freak the slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Oh no, Ooh, that call was coming S tier. In. Here we go. S -tier. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Got it. Just mm -hmm. give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. Yeah, no point on that. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. All right, uh, cabinet. Your I think. judgment has kept me alive so far. Well, we're not Nash. actually there, so. What do like you reckon? You should feel. All right, cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well. So he's going to the boardroom to the secret archives. He's going to pass right through the cubicles, and he's going from. Blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it. We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come on down, buddy. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The, the Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! Yeah! We've just locked up The Whistling Man. Yeah, we did! I'm very pretty. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I'm so pretty. Um, was there ever any doubt? Come on, Maurice. Was there ever any doubt? Not for yeah, me. God, mm -hmm. it's over. I'll be off now. Yeah. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. Yeah, I'll let's think about do that. it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Mm hmm. Yep, we got it. Got it. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. Deep breath. And play in and some out. killer tunes. That's. All right. A stab in the twilight. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Got it. It's funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Yeah. Looks like Honest. the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I don't trust I it. guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time? You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Oh, really? Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Well, maybe I like being a mystery. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Yeah. Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. 
Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Forrest. Ah, that's how it goes. Uh, did you do it? No. Uh, don't be so- I'm not! Whoa. I did it. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. Mm. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. As the dinosaurs! Huh, what a coincidence. Maybe we were made for each other. No. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. <laughs> He'd been a wreck for a while. <laughs> then he got himself into a wreck. Uh, well, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Uh, <laughs> emotions. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? Uh, you sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. Mm -hmm. One of Reggie's K-Fam regulations. Screw regulations. I'll pass you the key to the it's stairs. A special night. All right. Gee, thanks. <sighs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Later, Gator. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Second floor, stairway. Okay. Yay! Well, I don't like that. Wow. That was ominous. A tape play on air that seems like a really bad idea i'm gonna traumatize all the listeners um all right what else is here the vogue I need a key to get in there. All right, well, that's enough exploring around. Mm, is it? Yeah, that's enough exploring to do. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Yeah, Are they sure still out Whistler, there? Though. No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. OK, then. 189.16. All right. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. 
What the hell was that? Uh, I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Uh... Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Yeah. 911, our new number. We changed it, actually. Hey, we had a call come in. Oh, okay. Well, that's very important because we are 911. Collar, you're on 189.16, the, the screen. screen, with Ash, shut up and listen to me. Maurice? Mr. Russell, what's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen. He's gone. The whistling man is gone. How did he get out? God damn it, I thought you locked him up. What's going on? Damned if I know, Nash. Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Uh. Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, oh, no. there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson. You let him, you let him it. out? You let him did escape. you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. We're live on Damn air. It's not happening. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. So it wasn't a The door pad. was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... You... No, Peggy. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Mooney, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney with this. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Safely, safely. He seems really spooked. I Wouldn't you why. be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? That's He's, he's not, not a, a demon. demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? 